So what's going on all you wonderful people it's paradox back with another video today and first and foremost before we really get into the topic or the meat of this uh, of this video here yes I am using destiny gameplay in a video about battlefield whatever hey let's look past that all right destiny has been like the only thing I've been recording recently and I don't have any more battlefield hardline footage and unless you guys want to see like MLB or something you're gonna have to deal with it all right so let's get into the topic of this video because the gameplay really shouldn't matter right now battlefield hardline has been delayed yes I repeat battlefield hardline has been delayed until early 2015 this is coming from PC gamer and they are saying that dice has been looking into ways they can push hardline innovation further and make the game even better quote and that's coming based off of the beta that started during E3, if all of you remember that, on PlayStation 4, we got to try out Battlefield Hardline for a while, and traffic was actually pretty good the first few days, but then they dropped the Destiny Alpha, and I think that kind of swamped over all the traffic that Battlefield Hardline was getting, and we all know Battlefield Hardline was actually getting some bad press, because a lot of people were saying it should be an expansion, it feels just like Battlefield 4, this, no, this is not doing anything new, and... I don't really think that Hardline should be an expansion. I mean, it's kind of a group project between Visceral and DICE, with Visceral working on the single-player story, which I actually really want to see, and DICE working on the multiplayer experience. I don't think that since you have these two studios working together to produce such a product that it should be just brushed off as an expansion pack or as a DLC or something like that. But I think pushing ba Battlefield Hardline, excuse me, to 2015 is actually a pretty good idea now i was expecting this game i if i remember correctly it was supposed to drop in october which is just the hubbubaloo of games this year you just have everything coming out in october so i think this game would have kind of been sat upon i know i was not going to buy it and i even with this uh even with this delay i don't i still don't know if i'm really gonna buy it or not i have to see more of this game but I mean, it's a really interesting move, and I think a lot of people who were very frustrated with Battlefield 4's terrible launch are going to be happy that, you know, they're saying, hey, we really want to get to all the feedback that we got during the beta, so we're going to delay this game in order to really work on that, and in, in, in order to, sorry, release a very well-polished product. So I think that's really good. Now, we're going to see this move into early 2015. While the focus is on multiplayer innovation, improving the single player story mode, and perhaps, most important of all, doing everything you can to ensure that it's stable at launch. Now, that was a quote from this article, and early 2015 is really starting to ramp up a little bit. I mean, we're expecting, I'm going to say expecting Quantum Break to drop early 2015. We got the Order 1886 coming out in 2015. There have been a couple other things that have push into early 2015 so i think starting in about a month or so or two months like at starting in september i mean you guys gotta have your wallets ready destiny's dropping early september and after that it's just we're on a roll guys i mean we got you stuff every like single month things. from here on out i mean it's gonna be a very interesting end of this year and beginning of next okay. year Lock. and i really want to know what do you guys think about this were you going to buy Battlefield Hardline? What did you think of the beta? Do you think that it should have been an expansion? Do you think this is a really good time for them to say, hey, this game is not coming this year, and we're really going to focus on what you guys have talked to us about in the beta, right? I think it's a good move. I really want to know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts down in the comments section. Don't forget to rate, comment. If you like this video, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more news. And as always, this is Paradox. Same peace.